This is Turbo Pug. It's Turbo Pug. I have no idea what this is. It's a Steam game. <laughs> Air horns, Nick. Edit in some real ones. We can Oi. afford that. Ye oh, it's jumping. And my phone's ringing. Oh, good. Pizza's here. Oh, uh, pizza's here. Nick's gonna get it. Because I just lost because that pizza's here. Great. Phenomenal. Hello. This See? looks Nick's gonna get very it. simple. It looks like jumping the game. So is it just, oh, is it just running automatically? Shit. Yes. Oh, this is gonna be a goddamn mess. Okay, we're trying again. Let's find something else to talk about. Okay. I feel like this game is gonna give us some very limited... What is lava doing held between uh, wooden boxes? Hey, I know what we can talk about. Sure. Let's talk about it. bees. Oh, I love bees. Yes, I believe you were telling me something about bees this morning and you're gushing about the bees. No, it's just I found out that there uh, is a state mandated position for bee breeder, like damn it funded. <laughs> I don't know how long that'll be a thing, but damn it. I heard it on NPR that I can do that as a profession. I can make bees have sex with other bees and make super bees and then sell those super bees. Wasn't that like your farmers. life choice anyway to like make bees a better place? I would love to make bees better bees. Yeah. For people. Yes, and then so and then Kyle made a funny joke That's about the bees. Do you, why don't you just say that instead of narrating ah, and making me do it? Jesus Christ, Daniel. Why did you get zapped? Because it's raining and you're a pug and pugs conduct electricity <laughs> really well. That's why they're used yeah, they do. in CPUs and power outlets. Most houses built with pugs now. So while we were discussing Laura saving all the bees. You are so fucking bad at this. Sorry. I know. Kyle decided that we should look for bees for other bees to breed on Bumble. Nick, Seinfeld laugh track. <laughs> That's a terrible joke. Ian. Yep, it was pretty funny though. No. Look how good I am at jumping the pug. You're super good at jumping the pug. <laughs> now it's an industrial wasteland. Damn it! Blood and you just ah, oh, that's. I just mutilated the pug. Oh. I can't tell if the level is just like reoccurring or if it's new parts of the level. I don't know. Maybe it's like a randomly generated dungeon kind of situation. It's actually going too fast for me to realize if it's the same or not. I don't know, but I like jumping with pugs. Damn it! Want to well, try? You're a simple man, and mm. you have simple pleasures. What do you like to do for fun, Daniel? I like to jump the pug. I like to jump the pug. Pugs in real life, not good at jumping. No, I have bulldogs and that's even worse. They can like get down the driveway to the mailbox and they're like, yo, I forgot to jump. Oh, yo, yeah. <laughs> you're an asshole. Why you make me walk that far? And that doesn't even have anything to do with jumping. So that was a really good story. They can jump on the couch. You tell. They can without the use of a dog ramp. Yeah. <laughs> Unlike my fat cat who sometimes misses the bed. It hits at like chest height and then he goes, whoa, and bounces off and then gives up. You fucking idiot. Oh, speaking of my cat. I he... wasn't talking about your cat. No, we were talking about your cat. Yeah, he's beautiful. Nick, put up a picture of Seamus. Put up the picture of Seamus. Seamus is so fat and he looks like a low tad. You know what? And... You're right. No, I... absolutely. It's, you know, you just like pat on his head and what, instead of moving, he just stairs? smashes down into himself. Who cares? Just ignore it. Well, I got pretty far that time. I'm proud of you. Do you That's, want me to play? Yeah. All right. How do I play? Yeah. Um, I, I guess I can't All play. Right. <laughs> Chinese fire drill. <laughs> sure. Have you ever done one of those? No. Really? Is it fun? Uh, No, it's not worth it because you always get beeped at and then you almost get run over. All right, here's what we're going to do now. You're going to jump the that. pug and I'm going to push the clicky button. How do I how do I jump the pug? Space no, bar. OK, it's just space bar. Yep. OK, I think I can handle that. Good luck. All right. I'm so good at this game already. You are. You're jumping the pug quite nicely. Yeah, you know why? Because I got fucking ri shut up. <laughs> I got so much rhythm. I thought you were going to say because I'm fucking jacked. I am jacked. Fight me. I'm trying to figure out why some this. of the pug coins are worth 50 and some are worth a hundo. Who gives a shit? That's true. Inflation, Daniel. Look it up. You fucking idiot. You're a fucking shit. idiot. Shit. <laughs> I'm really bad at this. It's okay. That's um, why we're practicing. 
is Pugonomics, the, the study of Pug coin value. The Pug Olympics. What? We're what does that have to do with what I said? Well, you have to study up on the Pugonomics for the Pug Olympics. <sighs> and you said Pugonomics. I try to have conversations with you, and you just ruin them for everybody. <laughs> That's my job, remember? It's not. That's what Daniel is Danish for, the ruiner. You're right. Ruinations. <laughs> Parents, stop naming your children Daniel. You're gonna be like the Hitler of Daniels. <laughs> no one's Adolf anymore. Damn. You're gonna be the reason no one's Daniel. Damn. Daniel. Funny because I'm Jewish. Yeah, that's what I meant. That was a Jew joke. Fucking... This is pretty hard, actually. Yeah, it's a the timing is very difficult. It's because I'm so fast. I'm a pug on speed. You know, I was just concentrating blades. on the jump. I wasn't ever concentrating on looking at the actual dog. His tongue's sticking out. Yeah, because he's tired. Because look at all the running he's doing. And he keeps I fucking even jumping into much. bloody spikes. You gotta even have a little, little, little bit of water. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> See? <laughs> now you're <laughs> super pug. I don't Got your know. Ass kicked. I don't know why that happened. Is that the game taking pity on me? Maybe. Because it knows that I'm really awful. Nick, where did we get this game? The internet. Probably for free. Shit. <laughs> Either that I don't or know, Nick, how much did you spend on this? I think one of our wonderful fans <laughs> sent it to us. Did they? Yes. I don't think they're a fan of ours. They did it. I don't think so either, but we can pretend. Nick, flash your own name at the bottom of the screen. Thanks, <laughs> Nicky. Thank you to Nick for sending us this game. Oh, if I hold down, can I jump farther? No. That'd be really funny if we found that out now. Actually, I didn't even try Shit. any of that. That was a cat. I didn't even try any of the buttons. I just knew that spacebar was the real deal. So you didn't look at the uh, controls or anything? Hell no. Great. <laughs> Do you Phenomenal. ever recall a time where I looked at directions for anything? Um, pretty much never. There you go. Which is unfortunate because you have a lot of IKEA furniture that I don't feel comfortable sitting on. <laughs> yeah or utilizing at this point in time. Shit. See, it's fun. It's just, uh, it's getting quite difficult. It's really good for like a mindless kind of time waster. Like if I were at work, I, was just I gonna would say, play like, this. This feels like the game that my students play when I'm trying to talk to them. Yeah. <clears throat> but they play some game on, on uh, Google Chrome, uh -huh. like when the internet doesn't work. It's similar, I think. Oh, is it the dinosaur <clears throat> one? I don't know, they just jump and like try to jump over shit. I don't know if that still exists, but that was really cute. One of those like loading games. Mm -hmm. And I think, uh, yeah, when you're offline, you can play the little dinosaur one. Whoa, that's a big ass spike. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Or it kind of reminds me of those like calculator games that you had on your TI-82. Mm. Do you remember those? Yes, I do. Those are so good. I rocked that block pusher game so hard. I was so good at it. Was that the one where you were like kind of like a Mario type looking character? Um, and you I had to rotate the blocks with the keys? Uh, no, you just had to like situate the blocks in a way that you could make it out of the level. So it, it was like a really simple escape the room kind of thing. That's cool. Yeah, it was really fun. And that's all I did in like calculus. I remember like with my friends trying to get the codes for different games. And I remember we found Snake and that was super fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because you can like Whoa. modify your calculator and put more on and whatever. And I don't know. I just had somebody else do it because I'm stupid. And I can't do it myself. I am on a fucking roll right now. God damn it. Yeah, that one. That guy. Black dude! Oh, yeah, he does and he look looks like, like Mario. Mario. You're right. Yeah. It's, be it's because he's a small pixelated man with a hat. Oh, you almost beat our record, by the uh, way. Did I? Uh, yeah, almost. Phenomenal. 26-10. 26-10. That's the year I'm gonna die. That's... yeah, you're probably right. It's pretty accurate, I think. Yeah, you're not wrong. Thank you. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. You forgot to jump. I don't believe that. Dan. Yes. Tell us a random fact. Okay. Did you guys know that one time there was a businessman who came up to my... No, that's a bad story. I can't tell that one on camera. You're not on camera. But also, yeah, just tell us a random fact about yourself that's never come up in conversation 
uh, that you've always wanted to tell the audience? I like okay. asking that question. Did you guys know that no. one of the favorite stories to make fun of Daniel about amongst the Spud crew is that he used to wear puka shell necklaces? Did you know that, Laura? It was horrible. Of course I knew that. <laughs> Nick, put up as many pictures of Dan in puka shell necklaces as you can possibly find. Make a collage and then make that collage zoom out into a large picture of Dan wearing a puka shell necklace in his nerdcore shirt. <laughs> I don't think I had puka shells when I had my nerdcore shirt. I was like 12. You got a shitty I chain. I had, I had a shitty chain, but I didn't really wear the chain a lot. Oh, what, what was that? Was anything on the end of the chain? Nope. nope. No, there wasn't like a medallion. No, no, no. It was like, like a Batman symbol <laughs> or <laughs> no, some shit. Not like my older brother. He had a chain with a uh, scorpion on the end of his. Siri, it runs in the family. Yeah. Unger tradition dictates that you must spend X amount yeah! of years nice. wearing a douchey chain. Did I do it? Yeah, yeah, thirty. Did I do it? You did. Um, what else can I tell the world about Daniel that they don't already know? Um, I didn't say it had to be about you. Kyle. Kyle fuck. Why don't you tell the freezer Quick story? Play, you dickhead. There's a freezer story. Oh, um, what freezer oh, story? That's a great one. Go ahead, Laura. His anecdotal Danisms. Oh, shut up, old Dan. Of you. Say the darndest you dickheads. things. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> this, this this whole episode is just gonna be me ragging on Dan. Which I like. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's healthy. It's every episode I'm in with you. Pretty much. It's Tell the story. I don't, I don't remember the context. I don't either. I think I think we were trying to put away some ice cream or chill some beers or something like that. And Dan, in all seriousness, with no hint of like sarcasm or uh, like self-awareness, <laughs> was like, man, I wish there was a way we could cool these faster, like a fridge that was colder than a fridge gets. And of course, we're all just sitting there and just look at him. I'm like, like a fucking freezer, Dan. And he's just like, oh. <laughs> I think at the time I was talking about my mini fridge, but it just sounded dumb. So I just took it. There's a freezer in the mini fridge. Like, don't let him get away with those really, people. I don't really it's not, that one. You don't count them. You're like that was that was that bad. Out of all the stupid things I've said, that's not even that stupid. It's not like the time that I was holding a real life picture frame and I pinched to zoom on it. I did do that too. Because I wanted to look at some fine detail in this Polaroid. Yes, I was, I was admiring keeping. a photo album and I did pinch the actual picture frame it was, to zoom. Yep. At the dinner table in front of your family. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, and I, do, I, I couldn't stop myself in time. I was just like, well, I just did that and I'm a dumbass. Yes. But it it's okay. Good. No regerts. Yep. Because you know what? It makes for good TV. No desserts. This reminds me of the Impossible game. Do you remember that? I do. I like that game a lot. It's got great music. Yeah, it really does. Can't say the same for this bullshit. I think it's just one beat and uh, one tune over and over again. Production value gets a zero out of five. Nick, did you really buy Gameplay this? Gameplay gets a two mm. out of five. Was it like 50 cents? Art. Five dollars. Is a three. One dollar. Because it's just colorful. Three dollar. Four dollar. Six dollar. Dan, focus. Oh. You have one job. Nick paid 67 cents for this. I can't really be in. mad at that. There's a bird in my window. Wow, that's... No one can see that. Not even me. I hear him. Next time on Best Buds.